Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at the biggest problem for a Windows PC today, and it is adware and malware and junkware, as you can see here. It's a common problem, and it really does slow down the PC. This PC is non responsive, as you can see here, because it's been loaded with a ton of bloatware and adware and junkware on the system. People download and install programs and other junk off the internet. And this is what makes your computer sluggish. Windows 10 and Windows 11 is pretty good and secure at blocking malware and other infections from your computer. But pups or potentially unwanted programs is a real big problem. And it's been a problem for many, many years. There's companies out there that are creating programs that will claim to make your PC faster, fix errors on your PC, find missing drivers on your computer boost PC performance, run system maintenance on your PC, and lots more. But before we remove all of this stuff, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check the links out in the video description. Click on any of those links and it will take you to this website, create an account, and then you can click on the Buy Now button. Once you do this, it will take you to the by now page, you can add in my promo code to get a 30% discount on your order. Capital B, capital R, 09, or you can use this little button beside it to add my promo code in, apply this to your order, and then you can see the massive discount you're gonna get. Then you can click the pay now, choose PayPal, and submit your order. They will then send you your product key. You can then head over to the activation center inside Windows, and activate your version of Windows or upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 Pro. Links are in the video description. So let's get back to the problem at hand, which is this infected PC here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be removing all of this stuff from the computer. Now the way to deal with issues like this, whether it's uh, you know adware or something that's taken up a lot of system resources, you can head over to Kill em All. Now, Kill em All is a program created by Nick Shaw. He's a good friend of mine. And uh, basically, it's a free program you can use to kill all non-essential programs and processes on that system. This will allow you to gain system resources so you can then run scans on your computer with uh, anti-malware programs and anti-adware uh, programs to remove any sort of offending programs that have been installed on your system. Potentially unwanted programs, you can use ADW Cleaner uh, to remove those. I'll show you how to do it in this video. So what I've done now is I've downloaded Kill em All and we're going to open it up and run it as administrator if we can to try to bring the PC back a bit. So you can see here, system is very sluggish due to malware and pups on the system. This is using up all the system resources. So what we're going to do here is you can see the program right here and I'm going to try and run it. Now you can run it as a non-administrator. You can just click on this and run it and it should still kill a lot of these processes off. But I'm just gonna quickly click on this and try to get some sort of resources back because the system is so slow, I can hardly do anything on the PC. And this is a common problem. People get themselves into this situation all the time and they end up having to take it to a PC repair shop because they can't do anything on the computer. They just keep downloading and installing stuff on the PC and before you know it, they get infected and the system resources are being hogged by the malware or adware on the system. Just go ahead and click on this and hopefully we can uh, claim back some system resources here. So let's go ahead and run this and I'm just gonna click on this. It is a bit slow, so that's because of all the uh, processes running here. You should see a little black prompt box opening up once we run it. So let's go ahead and get this uh, running. You can see here, we've got this little box here. I'm gonna click run and uh, I'm gonna run this and you should see now the command prompt box. Don't worry, it's pretty uh, easy. You don't have to type any commands in. You can see here it's saying, uh, you know, basically push the enter key to start the process and just watch the system resources come back. So I'm just gonna quickly run this and you'll see, voila, all gone. And they've basically been terminated and now we have control back on our PC. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that the infections are gone, it's just terminated 
all of them so we can now start to uh, download some software and get some uh, scans done on the system. So you can see here, this is the programs. It's terminated here, the ones that were causing all of the issues. So I'm going to quickly shut this off. I'll quickly show you the website again because you couldn't clearly see it properly before. And uh, I'm going to quickly go to Kill em All again and you'll be able to see it. Now, this is a very underrated program. And uh, you've got programs like Rkill, but this one just terminates all of the non essential processes, which is much more powerful. And I think it's much more successful. Uh, than our kill but you can see here a very powerful tool indeed and that's the link i'll try and leave the link in a video description if i remember there's the download button there and all you need to do is download this you should keep this on your usb pen it's very useful at um, removing those processes so let's go ahead and start off with hitman pro and we'll get this on the system i'll download it and open this up and we can then run a scan and remove all of the offending uh adware and junkware and malware on the system I'll also download ADW Cleaner and we'll run a scan with that as well. And we'll also run a scan with Malwarebytes to polish off any sort of leftovers that might be on the system. So you should run multiple different scans with different software to try and pick up any sort of uh, stuff that's left behind on the system. Again, this is running in a virtual machine, so it's not really that important to me. But if it's your own personal computer, you really do need to make sure you run multiple different scans or do a fresh install of Windows. At least by running Kill em All, it's going to give you the opportunity to be able to get some system resources back so you can then back up some data and then maybe uh, reinstall Windows if you feel safer that way. So what we're going to do here is just allow the scan to run. Now, ideally, you want to run one scan at a time. So run Hitman Pro, let that finish, clean up any sort of stuff, and then run another scan with some other software rather than running loads of different scans with a uh, different types of software all at once. So what we're going to do here is allow this to classify any sort of files that it finds that are malicious on the system. And I'm pretty sure there is stuff on here and uh, it will find them and it will remove them from the computer. So just going to quickly let this run and I'll get to the next stage. And you can see already it is detecting uh, malware on the system here. And uh, we can delete and quarantine this stuff. And this is the sort of stuff that people end up getting on their PC. And this is mainly the main culprit of making your system run really slow. And once it starts getting on the system, it will reach out and call home and start downloading more rubbish on your PC. And you end up just getting infested with uh, adware and other junk. And your PC will just grind to a halt. And no matter how powerful your PC is, this stuff can really uh, take some system resources up. So I'm going to let this run. It's starting to detect and find more stuff here, as you can see. So we'll let this finish off. And uh, I'll run another program here just so you can see what it's like to uh, remove this sort of stuff. Now, another tool I want to mention is ADW Cleaner. It's a very powerful uh, tool for removing adware and other pups and nasty stuff on the PC. And this is a particular type of example where we can get the most out of this program because these are generally all pups a lot of these so let's go ahead and download this and run this on your computer so this is a separate program from malwarebytes it was created by some gentleman and uh, malwarebytes bought it off him it was that good and uh, let's agree to the terms and conditions here and we're just going to quickly run this i'm not going to go into settings just going to quickly run this and let it run and you can see it's detecting this sort of stuff, and uh, we can remove this also. Now, like I said before, run one scan at a time. Otherwise, you might end up having programs uh, close other programs because it needs to. You can see it's found a ton of potentially unwanted programs, which are pups, adware, and other nasty stuff, system optimizers, and all this sort of nonsense that people download and install on their computers all the time. And we're just going to remove this. Uh, from the PC. So you can see here system tweaker and other nasty stuff that actually grinds the system to a halt. So I'm just going to quickly clean this off and it's probably terminated that other program. So let me go ahead and I'll quickly run another scan with that. I'm not going to bore you with that. There we go. And it has already started to remove some of the stuff before Hitman Pro, but we'll run a scan and delete that as well. And uh, just quickly run this. 
done. Now we're going to run one more. We're going to run uh, malware bytes here. But obviously, you should try to run more. If you keep detecting malware, you should start running other tools as well. You can see already the system resources have come right back because we've started to remove this stuff from the computer. So let's go ahead and open up the browser and we'll download malware bytes and get this installed on the PC and run a scan with that. So let's go ahead and get this installed and I'll run a scan here. So we'll get this installed and we'll run a scan here. And hopefully this will start detecting more stuff and you can already see it's detected another infection. And this is exactly what I'm on about. You need to scan with different programs and you can see it's starting to pull them in now. And uh, once we've done this, I would run another scan with some other software to find any other remnants that are left behind. And I'll run ESET Online Scanner as well. And I'd also run Farpar Recovery Tool. Make sure there's no more uh, remnants left behind on that system. So we've got nine detected so far. And that would be enough to cause issues. So I'll let this run. And most of these are probably going to be you know, pups, but we'll see what it uh, detects and what it finds at the end of the scan. So I've speeded this process up, and you can see we've got now 17 detections. And uh, once that's done, you can now take a good look at what's uh, left on the system. So you've got pups here, and we've got even more concerning a rootkit on the system here, which is pretty nasty stuff. And again, really, really sort of uh, be careful when you see this sort of stuff on the PC. What you need to do is start running more scans if you're seeing rootkits and things like that on the computer. And this can allow people to come in through the back door onto your PC. And you definitely don't want to know that. So make sure you remove all of this stuff. And I can see other stuff there as well being found. It's removed all this stuff. Let's go ahead and quarantine this and clean up the system. I would then run more scans and you can evaluate the situation whether you want to back up your data at this stage and reinstall Windows, which some people would probably do just for 100% uh, safety. So I'd say this is probably one of the most common problems with Windows today. It's not so much the heavily infested malware that you used to get with Windows 7 and Windows XP, it's more adware and other pesky little programs that slow the PC down, pop-ups, uh, redirects in your browser, and things like that. So be careful out there, and be careful what you install on your PC. I hope this video has been informative and helpful for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout-out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.